Hey guys, welcome back. It's Finna Designs here with a brand new tutorial. It's finally here, a tutorial which I've wanted to do for a while. Um, so it's going to be a video editing tutorial, something that I've never done on my channel yet, but I've been doing a lot of cinematic videos and travel films, so I thought uh, why not just start doing uh, tutorials on how I edit my videos. So if you guys are interested in learning how to use Adobe Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro, then make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos and uh, make sure to hit the notification button so that you don't miss out on uh, videos that don't show up in your sub box. The first thing that we're going to be doing is basically just going over the user interface. So when you first open up Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, create a project, so when you start a new project you just name it and uh, you don't really have to worry about these settings, just uh, make sure you're on time code, uh, audio samples, um, you don't need to worry about this. Uh, we can go over some of the other settings in the future, but for now you can just create a name and uh, select the location you want to save your project file in and then click OK. So when you first open up Premiere Pro, you're going to have uh, this screen show up and this is basically um, Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, so it's very customizable, so right now the screen is laid out like this, but you can customize the layout and where buttons are depending on your preference. But for now we're going to keep it to the default just so you know where everything is when you follow this video. Um, so let's go over the top menu first. First of all we have file where you can create new projects, you can close, save, um, import files, video projects. Next is the edit and uh, here you pretty much can uh, copy, undo, uh, cut and you can pretty much use the shortcuts and I do recommend you guys learn the shortcuts because it's going to make your life a lot more easier when you move on to very uh, tedious edits in the future but um, if you are just starting out then obviously you can go to the top menu and then uh, click these um, buttons. Um, so next over is clip and pretty much uh, you can select the clip in your timeline which we will go over in the future but uh, you can pretty much make edits to your clip. You can rename, you can make a copy, you can replace, group, enable, link and uh, some of these things we will go over in the future and I will say that I do not know all the things that Adobe Premiere has to offer um, because I'm obviously learning as well um, but I will go through whatever I do know. If you've ever used Adobe After Effects, you can create different sequences so you can have uh, pretty much like groups. And so let's say for a tutorial I'm doing, I want one version for YouTube and another version for Instagram. So I can create multiple sequences to match the different resolutions for different uh, projects. I will go over how to create a sequence in another video. Next up is markers. Here you can add markers to indicate uh, different locations in your video and timeline to uh, keep track of different uh, locations in your project so that you can uh, go back to certain things that you want to go back to and uh, make notes on for future edits. And uh, you can do some pretty cool things uh, like add notes to your marker so that you know what that marker is for. And next over is graphics. Here is uh, pretty much the Adobe Creative Library. Um, they have like this feature where you can import typekit fonts into your Adobe Premiere project um, and uh, you can install motion graphic templates which I've never really done but uh, you can check it out if you want some templates. Um, next over is Windows. This we're going to be using uh, pretty often. So basically with workspaces you can create your custom layouts or choose from the presets available here. So right now we're in editing, you can go to effects, graphics uh, and whenever you select these different uh, layouts the panels will move around and uh, close, open depending on what is customized. And you can create your own which we will go through in the future video. Next up is help here, obviously straightforward, you can just uh, search up different tutorials or uh, guides that Adobe has provided. Now let's get into the panels that uh, Adobe Premiere has. So on the left side, top left, we have the source panel, effects, audio clip mixer, metadata. The source window pretty much allows you to scan through your video files quickly, make some cuts and then bring it into your actual timeline. The effects controls is basically your effects. You can make uh, keyframe adjustments, uh, and make your own presets and you will be using this panel a lot so keep that in mind. The next panel is audio clip mixer. So if you want to make audio edits directly in Premiere Pro you can do it in this panel. 
The metadata is basically just extra information that you can include in your video. Now let's go to the right panel and this is the program um, panel or your actual video screen. So basically this is your preview window. And uh, if you go down here to the left, we have more panels. Um, this is your project. Here you can see your imported files and you can create different um, assets that you can use in your project. You can create groups and you can create new items by using these icons. You can also customize the way you can see the information. So if you don't want to see your information as a list, you can click this uh, button that is right next to the list icon. This is the icon view. So you can see thumbnails to see bigger uh, previews of your files. The next panel is the media browser. The media browser pretty much allows you to import and uh, locate files that you can use in your project. If you look to your left, you can see your local hard drives and external hard drives. So if I open up my external, you can see all my folders. You can select a folder to open it up. You can go to uh, subfolders to go deeper into your projects and folders and locate different files to use in your project. Um, next over is the libraries panel. This is pretty much your Adobe library that is available as part of your creative suite. And uh, the library pretty much allows you to save assets to use in your future projects. Any asset that you save here like colors or logos or any other file that you save here will be synced to your Adobe Creative Suite. So if you were to log on to your Adobe account on a different computer, you will be able to access those same assets to use in uh, projects. So let's go to the info. Info it pretty much just shows information about your project and uh, assets. The next panel is effects and uh, the effects is um, related to the effects controls. Um, so these are your actual effects that you can select and apply to your videos. And then that the effects control allows you to modify those presets. Let's go over to the markers. Earlier I mentioned that you can add markers to your video clips in the timeline and you will be able to see those markers here and you can make further edits here. And uh, the cool thing is that you can actually use colors to color coordinate them and make them easier to locate and group them. Um, let's go over, right now it's hard to see the f other panels, um, but if you click this uh, arrow, you can see um, any panel that is hiding behind. So let's go over to history, which is the final one. History will basically just save anything I do in Adobe Premiere Pro. So um, as you can see, it says new open. And that's basically just saying that I opened up a new Adobe Premiere file. So if I were to make an edit to, let's say a video that I'm working on, um, if, I were, if I were to add like motion blur, it will say I added motion blur and so on. So you can basically just keep track of your history as you go on. All right, so now let's go on to the timeline. So the timeline is uh, where you're gonna be doing most of your work. Right now, you don't really see anything here except for these icons. Uh, but when we do create a sequence and import in video files and drag them into the timeline, you will see that there will be different layers and controls to make your cuts, edits, and uh, create your actual video project. Now let's go on over to the right side. We have this uh, audio bar or audio level bar. Um, this pretty much allows you to see your audio levels. So when you're editing, you want to make sure that your audio is not peaking and not uh, blowing up your audience's ears. The final thing we're going to go over in this video is the toolbar and it's right next to the timeline. So um, some of the tools are going to be used uh, more often than others, but uh, I'm going to go through some of them. The first one is selection. Um, that basically just allows you to select your layers, your um, video files, etc. Um, next one is Ripple Edit, which we will go through. Um, it's easier to show than to just talk about it. Um, this one is Track Select Forward. You can uh, use this tool to move forward or backwards in your clips. The Razor tool allows you to make cuts in your videos. Next tool is the Slip tool. This is the Pen tool. If you've ever used Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, you will be familiar with the Pen tool and it works similar to that, um, but we will go over that later. The Type tool allows you to add type or text to your video. So this can be very useful because you can use the effects controls to add animation um, to your text as well. So that's pretty cool. We've gone through pretty much uh, the main parts of Adobe Premiere, um, the user interface at least. 
when we actually create a project, a sequence and start to edit, you will understand the different panels uh, better. But for now, I just went through it quickly just so that you get an understanding of what is what and where everything is. So if you guys enjoy this video and learn something new, please leave a like. Also comment below if you're excited to see future videos when we actually start to edit and uh, learn and uh, just see how I edit my videos and you can leave feedback if you guys want to see something differently if I'm doing something uh, that is not understandable or if you need more help you can leave a comment and I'll get back to you uh, but also subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos and I will see you guys next time peace